Morning everyone. Now I just wanted to quickly show off uh, this little wireless remote control unit. Um, and I bought this one because it's slightly different to the normal type you get. Because instead of the standard decoder receiver chip, uh, the PT or the SC2272, this one has a little microcontroller, that unmarked, uh, what is it, 14 pin chip there, and also an E squared PROM. Now it also comes with a little box that it fits in, which I promptly broke because those little lug pins, the two near ones, uh, they just snapped off. But if you're careful, you can probably keep that intact. And a little two button wireless remote control um, with battery already fitted. And here's how it works. Press the A button and the green light comes on, which shows that the relay has latched in. Press the B button and the green light goes off on, you can only just see that actually, off. Now that's the latching action, and you can have a different action by putting a link on those pins. I'll do that now. So you may just be able to make out a T and an M on the circuit board there. So I've linked it for T, that's toggle. Now if you press the A button, the relay comes on. If you press the A button again, it toggles off. Toggle on, toggle off. The B button does nothing in this case. So now I've put the link on the other pin, the M pin. This is momentary. If I press the A button, it comes on. But if I let go, it goes off. So you have to press and hold to have it on. Let go and it turns off. And once again, B does nothing in this setting. Now that's a big advantage over the regular receiver which has the PT2272 or an SC2272 because there you have to have the right type of chip to have the right type of action. So you can see that that one is an M4, that's a momentary action 4 channel chip. This one is an L4, that's a latching action chip. And I've got a couple of these T4s which are the toggle action chips. But you do have to have all the different chips um, if you want to try a variety of different actions. Okay, back to latching mode. Let's try it again. A to turn it on, B to turn it off. But this remote control doesn't work, does nothing. And that's because the unit has no knowledge of the code in this remote control. So what do we do? We press the button until the red light comes on. That's in learning mode. And now it learns the code from this remote control. And that one now is working. But it doesn't forget the code from this remote control. That one still works as well. So it seems that the codes are accumulated in that little E squared PROM chip. Um, I don't know how many it uh, can store because of course no manual came with this thing, but I'd imagine quite a few. And that got me thinking, what happens if there's a remote control that you one day decide that it shouldn't remember the code for? Well, they have also provided an option for that. If you press the button, and you simply hold it for quite a long period of time, I think it's about eight seconds, the light eventually goes off, you let go, and then the light comes on and then goes off again. And that seems to be some sort of erase routine because now it can't remember that one and it can't remember that one. So we'll just get it to learn this one again. So it has a learning function, can store multiple remote codes, and it also has a global or a bulk erase function. So I'm going to use this uh, remote control to remotely switch on and off this boost converter on my solar power system. I think it's just the job. The relay on the board is a 10 amp relay, so at 12 volts that's uh, going to be 120 watts worth. Also you can just see on the back of the um, receiver board there it says 315 meg and 433 meg and there's a dot by 315 and this is indeed a 315 megahertz wireless system. Now there is just one thing I didn't like about this uh, remote control unit and that is that on the listing it shows it as having a jade colored remote control. 
and I don't have any jade coloured remote controls and I was rather looking forward to that. And what did they send me? Teak or mahogany or whatever you call that. So that made me a bit cross but um, at this price £2.61 plus 99p postage, what's that? £3.60. Uh, the seller is Lakey X 101 I will put a link to this in the description, not how, sure how long that'll last but um, I'm quite happy with my new wireless remote control unit.